Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Thanks. to Thanks. Uprising. Thanks. I am Dolphin Terry, and I am joined by J.O. Maddox. Hey, I want to do this for Dolphin. You know, I used to have a lot of respect back in the day, but look at this. Look at this, this, this giant going up against this poor, unfortunate little child of rock bands. And it's just, it's just a the same thing that we can prove. And the champion should be so many examples. Don't do it. It's all well, he's not going to be facing a smaller kid at Cyberstone. He's going up against Tom Manson's father, the Sandman, Brock Manson, with the Extreme Championship on the line. I have to say, it's not very smart that you didn't have a kid with a guy like Brock Manson. A guy that can knock you out of one punch. Well, I agree with him. I mean, it may not be the smartest idea, but when you're a guy like Fist, Guys of different sizes who go up against each other. Let's not count out Don Manson. Don Manson is a very uh, credible competitor. He could do very well. Perhaps tonight, if he could pull off the upset. What, what a message that would send for Cyber Slam, but also Don Manson, that would that would be something to get his feet wet here in Uprising, could get him a future championship opportunity. Of well, course, I mean, Don Manson, even though he, he is the son of Brock Manson, he has had to come up through the ranks the hard way through PCW, and he's, he's getting his opportunity now in Uprising, so of course he's going to put in a good effort, but, you know, at the end of the day, look at the size difference, there's only so much you can do. Uh, well, maybe, well, he's not going to be doing doing the power game here against Fisk because you're going to lose that battle. See, I guess he inherited his, his father's intelligence. Okay, not very much. Well, some, some, some would say Brock Manson has had an interesting mindset as of late, which is why he has attacked Fisk and he's, he's repositioned himself here on the card and looking to win championship gold done some questionable things to send some messages, but I mean, in his mindset, that's the right you, thing to do. You say questionable, I say you've got to do what you got to do to get the win. I mean, did Julius Caesar ever stop and think, hmm, I'm not going to kill that guy because it's a questionable thing to do. No, he did it, and he became sort of empty. And he tried to, but he got through it. That's not the point, okay? The point is, Julius Caesar was a winner, and so is Brock Manson. Maybe. Folks, oh my, oh my god! Don Manson diving over the ropes. That's exactly what Don Manson's got to do. He's got to use his speed to his advantage. Fisk, he's extreme champion. And of course, this match is a little bit of a tune-up. Don Manson with his dog chair. It's all, all legal, folks. Fisk personally requested that this be extreme rules, but and you got to wonder, he's, he's going up against... Brock Manson's son, and you, and you say that's a, it's a, it's a bad idea to go and. I mean, hurt look, you don't son. you don't mess with your enemy's son. You don't mess with anyone's son because if you see your, your son getting beaten up, of course you get that dad strength and you start beating up that 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 bastard who's doing it, don't you? So sure. he's gonna be he could be seeing Fist kicking his son in the head right now. He's gonna be fuming backstage. I don't know how they're restraining. I mean, God knows how, but you know. I don't know either. I. I this must be tough to watch. Uh oh, and Fisk is bringing a table 
into the ring. What the hell is he going to do with the tape? He's, he's got dark intentions, I can tell you. Most of the in my dad back. <clears throat> and we know he's got some dark intentions. So does Don Manson. He's, he is, he's fighting Fist. He's trying to prevent him from using that table. He knows Fist can do some damaging things. And big splash in the corner. Big splash. Impressive move there from the answer. Gosh, I shouldn't have drunk that tape. <laughs> Spinning wheel kick there by Don Manson. Uh, he's got a steel chair. It's all legal, and you gotta it's, do what you gotta do in these, in these matches. Oh my god! You think a veteran like this would be prepared for that kind of thing, but I guess he was a bit dazed from that splash, and he just got clocked with that chair. He's down on the ground. It's very rare fist to be down on the ground for a long time. Manson on the top. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! He's taking some risks here. 450 splash leg oh. hook. Oh my. Oh. Um. Well, so, um, it, it was impressive until he just kicked out. I hope the man is good at track because he needs to be running quite fast now. This goes up and just uh, doesn't seem too happy at the athletic display there from Don Manson. Well, what do you expect him to do? Sit up and say, hey dude, that was great. I love the way you did the flippy shit on me. <laughs> Why don't you do it again? I don't think uh -oh. Don Manson in a world of trouble, then the end might be near. That's, that's not understanding. He's sitting out that table now. We've, we've been on Comedy for a while. We've all seen tables broken in many different ways, and yes. we might see a new inventive one right here. Oh my. Oh, oh and Fist oh <laughs> knocks Manson right out of his boots. Don Manson for a while it looked like he. He was doing really well for himself. He had Fisk down, and now, well, yep. Fisk is just punishing him. Oh, I see what you did. <laughs> oh, oh my! Oh, you know he could have just turned around a little bit and put him to the table, but he's going to just prolong the suffering here. Oh my! At some point, you just got to think to yourself, hmm, maybe I should just finish this guy off. You know, do the right thing. You know. Maybe, and I, I and I agree with you. Maybe Fisk should finish Dom off, go for the cover. Oh, oh, oh God! But I think it's quite clear Fisk is doing more than that. He's trying to send a message here. Send a message to Brock Manson, the guy that can knock out nearly anyone on the planet with one punch. That shows how bold Fisk is. That's one word for it. I call it stupid, but uh, we should run. Tom Manson, he's crawling, and he's barely but getting to his feet. You gotta give it to the kid, though. He's not staying down. He's, he's trying to get back up. He's trying to stay in this fight somehow. This it's not a smart thing to do, obviously, but... Uh, oh, my! Oh, God. Throwing head first into that steel chair that was wedged in the corner there. Look, I think he's out on his feet. <laughs> I'd be surprised if he knows what he is. Uh-oh. Fisk positioning Don Manson up on the top rope there. What the hell is he doing? Oh my, he's is... moving the table. Oh boy. Red Don Manson, I think he's... I think he's not. Oh. Oh, he's still out on his face. It looked like he was gonna... May maybe get out of this, but... Oh, 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 oh dear. Good night, sweet prince. It's been nice night. Oh! Oh, wow. He didn't even break the table. He, he hit the table, though. So, so we're importing the tables from Japan now. I see. see. Oh, Fisk going for a cross face. See, I'm, I'm not too up in Fisk's move set, but I, I don't... It was an unorthodox it. move on behalf of Fisk. It was very rare to see that. Oh, oh my! Pop okay. up oh. power bomb. Pop up power bomb. Well, this might be the end. I'd imagine. Yeah. Yep. We're getting out of that. Well, Fisk picks up the victory. Don't mind to put up a value yeah. on that, but at the end of the day, you got this dude throwing it out of the ring, but like, like that, but it's a table, and what can you do, right? Maybe it was, it was an uphill battle for Don Manson. Fisk picking up the victory, though. Oh, wait a minute, but here goes Brock right Manson. I guess they couldn't restrain him for long. Oh my! Stick to the stomach. I think that's just gonna be the beginning. Jesus. 
Rock Bands has got that kendo stick. Just like in this match tonight, it's going to be all legal at Cyber Slam for the Extreme Championship. I said it before, you don't beat up a man's son. Because this is exactly what happens. You get, okay, you don't always get put to a match. But <laughs> in wrestling, well, you do. Uh oh. It, Fisk! Fisk fighting back. Fisk is not going to be. <laughs> going to be put through that table if he didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, he doesn't want to go through that table. Uh oh. Fox Manson's in a world of trouble. Oh my god. Took a headbutt there from the Punisher. Uh -oh. I don't like this no, it's all oh good. my god, he's got him up! Oh. Chokes him through the table! The table just exploded under Manson's weight under the power of this! This puts Manson through the table! And if he does that at Cyberslam, he yeah. just might be walking out with the Extreme Championship still in his possession. When was the last time all wrestling was fun? People try and make this place not fun anymore. The trolls. I was told to just ignore them. But I do not stand down. I do not quit. I fight. And I defeated the trolls. I win. They lose. So, the burning question, will Sean Walsh host Call All Stars 8 this summer on YouTube? I'm officially confirming that I will be the host of Call All Stars 8. Call All Stars 8 needs a host who is here from day one. He's a host that wins. Tired of losing. But most importantly, Call All Stars needs a host who knows how to have fun. The Call of Dream is dead. But I will bring it back bigger, better, and stronger than ever. And we will make Call Fun again. Welcome back to Uprising. Oh, very handsome fellow in my commercial. Uh, I think so. Be... Oh, no. Oh, no. Who's going to be meeting the Alex Enterprise? That's interesting. In fact, I think the guy can hate that. Oh, nice. In fact, we're going to see it a little bit later on tonight. A little video package on Sean Wall and the Alex Enterprise about how this film actually Right now, we're going to have singles action for the two tag competitors. Here comes one half of the PCW tag team. Glad to do it. And they're going to go up against one half of the AWF tag team. So the the question has been in the last few weeks since the Irish Express have made their presence known here on Uprising. Could they be the guys that finally can go wrong? I know there's every tag team in the dream to become AWF tag team champion, but do you really want to be next in line to face the disciples? I mean, is that really something you want? I would not. I, I, would, I, I don't care. For me, I don't care what the championship opportunity is. I would run. However, the Irish Express, they, they seem they want to take this opportunity. But maybe, maybe they should watch and see what the disciples have been doing in the past. They have beaten every person that has crossed their paths. They have, and they not even they beaten people who didn't have even have intention to go after the tag team championship. They just beat people up because 
it's what they want to do. When you're finding people that love to cause pain, love to inflict pain, then you gotta look at yourself in there and think, does this worth it? And I guess the Irish Express is so determined to make an impact here in the AWF, they're determined to come back to the that they're willing, willing to put their lives on the line. I mean, good for them, I guess. I, I wouldn't have thought of it. Well, let's keep in mind, on the last Uprising, the Disciples, they laid out the AWF champion, Sean Ryan. So... And we all know Sean Ryan is not something we can easily put down. Well, you know, they did it for their their leader, who was going to meet Sean Riley at CyberSlam. And we'll hear more on that later tonight, because Sean Riley is here, and he's going to address the disciples. <laughs> hey, I'm a very honest man, I don't know what to call him. Well, Cody O'Pally's Rod Felix. Going oh my god. Rod Felix is a very, very strong and big guy. So, he no, he does not. I'm not going to go tell him to put shoes on. Did he by any chance happen to the same wrestling school as Ruby? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that school teaches that shoes are for the weak. Until you break the foot. Yeah, and then you're like, alright. Oh, We're all over. I gotta say though, I feel like he's doing very well for himself in the early going here. I suppose that there is one advantage of being a rookie is that hardly anybody's seen you fight. I know he's been in PGW, I know he's probably a good development player. <coughs> But, you know, you got to think that the site is more concerned with things going on in the main roster, so maybe they haven't seen these guys fight, fight for many times. Uh, that's certainly interesting to note. With these guys being new on the scene, it's certainly unpredictable. You don't know what's going to come at all. Oh my. But then you can bust out things like that and it doesn't matter anymore. So. The Disciples have a moveset like no other. Like, these guys have a hybrid of, of different styles that they bring to the table that is just unlike any of them. I mean, look at this, the Disciples have been around for a long time. They haven't always been the Disciples as we know them today, but they've been around for a while. They've had a long time to study so many styles. I mean, Cody himself was in the, uh, the IW a long time ago. He's had a chance to study the British style of wrestling. Mm -hmm. So, when they pull all those things together with the desire to just want to hurt people, it's going to be very difficult to beat. <clears throat> yes, oh, oh my. What is this? Felix got him up and... Oh! Jesus. But wow. then you've got, you got a rookie coming up and he, he, he's saying, I don't care about any of that. I'm just going to beat you. And the referee is completely distracted. And with Tim's Maniah up on the apron, distracting the referee. There's that veteran instinct there. Oh, oh my. That was a nasty blow to the midsection. That's why you shouldn't go up in the middle. No. Now, Cody Powell is taking advantage of this opportunity. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no! Oh, oh my! Oh. I thought I thought for a moment I was going to have to reverse that, but I guess not. No. Cody Powell is showing how to jump off the middle rope. <laughs> I'm just gonna fool them. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Oh, come on. Look at this, these guys, I, yeah, I'm not defending either side on this one, because they, they, they aren't a part of the match, and... You, you, do, you do what you have to do to win, if it means distracting your opponent, then so be it. Well, look at, on, what's up, it's cover here. Oh, only a two though, that's very certain, he neutral's cover, he's putting all his weight on it. Does your referee have an off right to this, because, you know, he took an awful long time to get down there. Oh, oh my! Oh, a dominator! Oh, we actually can Oh, come on. Look at this. Now he's distracting the referee again. Can you just pick refs up off the street or something? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. He's, he's throwing him out of here. Okay, look. This one thing to be the... 
is it is it his fault that you're distracted with the camera? No. So so why are you throwing him out here? Seems a bit on this side, I think. Oh, this one needs to be done. Hey, well it's a cover. It needs to be done if you get down and count one, a bit. Two the three! Oh, oh what is it? Artfield's got it! What a confusion there. Rob Felix somehow <laughs> got the win. Picked up the victory. I mean, if you want to make your uh, your offer to why you deserve a tag team championship opportunity, getting a victory over one half of the tag team champions is pretty convincing. Okay, look, this is a bit. And folks, welcome back to Uprising. Fans are on their feet here. It's weird. It seems we're about to be greeted by Danny Hardy. We, Danny Hardy, he, he's going to be meeting Texas Black at Cyrus. Not a, not a thing that many people think Danny Hardy, he, he went to defend Sean Riley weeks ago. Sean Riley's battle with Texas Black, you big son of a bitch, you and your disciples want to come down here, beat the hell out of me any chance that you get. Choke slam me on the ramp after the match is over. You and your crazy ass disciples want to go and target me. Hell, I know I threw my name right into the hat, I didn't have to, but damn it, I did and I don't regret it one bit. I'm ready to fight you. But you don't have to attack me after a match or attack me from behind. I'm giving you the opportunity to do it right now. So, Texas Black, I'm calling your ass out. I'm not waiting to Cyber Slam. We're doing this right now. Oh, okay, well, Texas Black heard the invitation. Alright, you don't see that behind that. I know that I'll be a chance to beat somebody up, so, there we are. And here we are. At like Danny Hardy said, he, he's, not, he's not waiting for Cyberson. These guys will be meeting as I'm assuming that they're both in one piece of Cyberson. Oh, Texas Black coming to the ring. He's coming alone, he's not coming with Reverend Joseph, he's not with any of the disciples. Oh my. Danny Hardy's telling him to bring it. You know, it's the, 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 the average IQ of people in AWF doesn't seem very high. Danny Hardy is looking under the ring. What's is that? A, it's a bat. Okay, I take I take it back. Well, Danny Hardy, this is certainly uh, a smart way to do this. As Texas Black was making his way to the ring, he got a bat. Sure, if he just just pick up a bat, and start whacking it or something. Makes sense. And Danny Hardy, he, he's not he's not a dumb guy. This is the reason why he's a former AWF champion. He knows it, it's not exactly a fair battle here going up against Texas Black. Oh my! The problem with bringing out weapons is that if your opponent gets a hold of it, uh, yeah, you get whacked. It's 
Danny Hardy is seeing stars. Texas Black is scary enough without a bat. Now you give him give him a bat to use. That that's, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that one. And that really must have clocked Danny Hardy in there because he's still down. Jesus. Oh my. That's oh. Playing possum. Can we get Danny Hardy back on the offense. Throw in Texas Black. You gotta have a lot of strength in your own to be able to do that. There he's got the bat again. You know, the thing is though, Danny Hardy was out there saying, alright, if you want to fight, let's fight. You think of Mano or Mano, they go just just with their fists and their boots and whatever. But here's Danny Hardy bringing out the bat to the fist fight. It doesn't seem exactly I mean, fair, does it? Well, after the, after the tag team match on the last uprising, Texas Black did give a. Uh, he did lay out Danny Hardy on the ramp. I mean, I wouldn't call that fair. It's not, but again, you do what you gotta do to win, and I just uh, work myself into all that. Uh, oh, and Danny Hardy's looking for more. Oh, he's got a chair. It's the second chair we've seen tonight. Is he, is, he, is he gonna clock? Texas Black over the head! Yes, he does! Well, Danny Hardy, he. He wanted to fight Texas Black, and he okay. certainly he's smarter than 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 I figured. He he certainly was prepared for this one. He didn't so hard, but the chair bouncing out of his hand. He has to catch it straight away after him. Oh my! Pop up the hell well, for everybody. Danny Hardy is a power up. He just he just laid out Texas Black. Could this be a sign of what's to come? Danny Hardy is going to actually be able to survive Texas Black at some point. Texas Black got off. And it's... <laughs> well... You can't keep a good monster down, can you? Oh my. We thought we were going to see hell at Cyber Slam. Well, hell is coming to uprising right here, right now. I, I thought, with all that Danny Hardy did, I thought he w did enough to lay out Texas Black. And Texas Black was just, he, he got right back up, and now he's bringing, oh my god, he's bringing the punishment right to Danny Hardy. This is, this is very scary. Well, the reason Texas Black instills fear in the hearts of so many men, so many wrestlers, because he could take so, many, so much punishment like that and just get right back up. Oh my. Uh-oh. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, it, oh, he just chokeslammed him on a bat. Looks like a little plan back by Hardy. Got a lot next time. Oh, these two are going to meet at Cyber Slam. And yeah. Welcome back to Uprising, and now we're about to see a Money in the Bank qualifying match. Here comes Don Martin Enterprises, and Don Martin 
he's already booked for CyberSlam as he's going to be defending that United States Championship against Rave, but the man beside him is um, Director of Operations. Brian Stone is going to compete in the Money in the Bank qualifying match. Don Mon and Don Manson never hang out back so. They don't really suck. Don Martin, he, 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 he spends his time with a lot of um, very, very wealthy people. So. I don't think they hang out, but I, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll We're about to hear, though, from Brian Stone. All right. Let's clear this for the last time, all right? The next dumb motherfucker to come up to me and ask me why did I sell out? I'm gonna personally go up to you, look you dead in your eyes, and slap the holy shit out of you. Because, to be honest, in my point of view, I didn't really sell out. No, I didn't sell out. I mean, it would have been selling out if there was another black man in the ring. See, that's selling out. When you sell out your own people for glitz, glory, and money, that is selling out. I just took a business proposition and helped one of the richest men in car to retain his U.S. championship. I, that's what I do. I, I, I need the money, man, because... In the wrestling business, man, you, you have to realize, in the wrestling business, you can't just have skills. You need to have brains. How do you think guys like Edge became a nine-time world champion? Because Edge had brain. He's the ultimate opportunist. You have to be an ultimate opportunist to make it in this goddamn business. And... To the Irish lad, Riv. I'm done with you. Okay? That's a terrible, that's a terrible accent. I'm done. Alright? I want you to do me a real big favor. Alright? I want you to go outside. And when you go outside, there's gonna be rocks on the floor. And I want you to do me a big favor when you see those rocks on the floor. Kick them bitches, because you are not worth my time and my effort. All right, I'm I'm here to make money and kick ass. That's what I do. All right, that's what I do. And since you obviously failed to learn that the first time, well, shit, there is no second. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, well, it seems that Brian Stone's opponent, Big Dwayne, is hurting off. Big, um. Big Dwayne, a, a former holder of the Money in the Bank briefcase, was very successful. He cashed in and became AWF champ. Indeed, so he knows he's worth five to at the top of the mountain. He does. Big Dwayne's been trying to, to get back up on top of the mountain. He's had a, been on a little bit of a rough patch in the last few weeks, but looking to try and make things right here tonight. He's got this opportunity. The Money in the Bank ladder match. Looking to get into that match. Yeah. We know the, the Money in the Bank for the first time going to be at CyberSlam this year. We know Big Dwayne and Ryan Stone, they got this opportunity. There's also one more qualifying match for that sixth spot. And then we will have all six competitors all ready for Bank ladder match. Now everyone knows that can change your career. I can. I can. And, uh, you know, you got to think of Brian Stone is in a very good position to get it because off the wall, he is with the money man himself, Don Martin. Well, that'd be certainly interesting. You know, Don Martin, they, they said, well, I'm sure they, they'd love to have the money. And, and on top of that, Don Martin, he has the the United States Championship, and for Dotmart Enterprises, they have possession of also the Money in the Bank briefcase. 
You know, they crave that kind of pose gold, possession, and power. No, I really do think that Big Dwayne, if he's, if he's a nice guy, he's just laid down and let Brian Storm have, have, um... He's a nice guy and just lay down. Yeah, because he, because he's, he's had his chance at the top. He's had his chance in the limelight, and you know it faded eventually, as it does. And you should give it to you, guy. You know, give him a chance. Oh, come on, he's not going to lay down, nor should he. What if there's a cash incentive? The, all, I, I'm, sh I'm sure that w that was offered. That would not be uncharacteristic of Don Martin. We know Don Martin has been known to use his money to, to further his If you've got the resources, you use it. See, no problem with that. I look at things. You sigh all you want, but there's a reason you're still stuck in the commentary table and you're not a CEO of the company. Well, maybe, but I, I enjoy calling the action here. You there's... enjoy being a loser and supporting the losers. If you had that cutthroat mentality like Don Marnin does, then maybe you made something with your life. Philip. Well, you can look at it that way. I'm sure that's what Don Martin sees us, but I, I I see a lot of success and I I, I think we, we could see some success for, for Big Dwayne if he were to win this match, if he were to win the Money in the Bank once again, he could achieve that same success he once had that's if he can get out of this though. That's a big if, he has to go through this man first and you know as good as Big Dwayne is you can see that the dollar signs are lining up in this young man's eyes Oh, certainly, and you know, look, let me just say this, I, by no means am I discrediting Brian Stone, he's certainly a very fine competitor, and it certainly does help that he has Don Martin in his corner, so he's a very gifted competitor, and he has all the tools to get, to get the job done, will he though, we're going to find out right now, Dwayne, what is what has he got in mind here for Stone? Illegally using the ropes here. Illegally using the ropes? That house, so? I mean, you men fight in between the ropes, not oh on the my. ropes. Come you know, there's a little difference there. Well, how about this? Okay, that's legal, but it's a little unnecessary. You don't need to put that much force into a car, They're un unnecessary. Big Dwayne is. All the, all this is legal, all this is fine, and oh my god. I don't like this is the league and of the necessary weapon, too. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm a funny guy. Uh. Oh, what is Big Dwayne? Oh my god. Pure power. You, that... you, got, you gotta give it a Big Dwayne, he's, he's got a lot of power in his muscles, and he knows how to use it. Yes, he does. Uh oh. Look at this. Don Martin. He's distracting Big Dwayne here. Don Martin is distracting Big Dwayne. No, it's Big Dwayne getting allowing himself to get distracted by a guy that's not even in the match. You can't blame Don Martin for taking any advantage you can get. Don Martin shouldn't he, realistically he shouldn't he shouldn't even be out here to begin with. Why is he supporting his friend? He's supporting his, his associate, his employee. What's wrong with that? Oh come on! And, and, and is this okay? He's distracting the referee as Big Dwayne had a cuff. Yeah, and the referee should be primed and ready to ignore any outside influence. It's not his fault, but the referees are stupid. The referee's got to keep order here. He's got to make sure that there is no outside like interference. Now, look at this! He's put a chair in the ring. But he just—he can see that Brian Stone needs a rest, and he needs to sit down and a nice quiet thing. He can uh, he just provide him a chair? That's it. Nothing untoward. A nice quiet rest. Yeah. What? Is and of course, Big Dwayne being the, the horrible guy that he is, he's not allowing Brian Stone the chance to have a nice little rest. But you shouldn't let him have a rest. There's no rest in call wrestling. And that should that should be a change to the rules because it's very tiring business. Let me tell you. Uh oh, there's a choke slam. Well, all the shenanigans might be for nothing. Because... Oh look at look at the rest. He's getting out of the ring. Shouldn't it be in the ring? Here's the cover. One, two, and hey, wait a minute. He's pulled the referee out of the ring. No, the ref slipped. There's oh, a lot of, a lot of sweat. Are you kidding me? He There's pulled him out, out of the ring. And he slipped outside the ring. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Big knockout blow. The referee's handling Don, 
Don Martin. It looks like he just ejected him, and rightfully so. Brock Manson esque with that punch. And why is there a shower in the arena? <laughs> no, no. Well, Ryan, so hey, wait, 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 it's Rave! Rave is, and he's attacking Don Martin, oh, who just ejected. That's disgusting behavior. Don Martin is minding his own business, going back to the locker room. Minding his own business. Are you kidding me? Yes, does it look Breaking like every rule in the book? Breaking every rule. He's being sent away, and he's doing. He's following the rules perfectly by going away. Rave has seen enough. He he's seen all of Don Martin Enterprises' business tactics for weeks. What's and this? Now, and then they're going to meet at CyberSlam, and the U.S. Championship's on the line. He was not going to let Don Martin get away with this one. He's not going to let yeah. him cheat the system. Yeah. So Brian Stone could get CyberSlam. Is this CyberSlam, sir? No, he shouldn't be out. Well, now it's it's fair. It's one on one. Big Dwayne. Uh oh. Oh, oh my. Okay, this is unnecessary. To okay. look, he's had enough. You don't need a big freak. Come on. I think this is all, 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 all right and deserving. All right. Look at the sick people in the crowd enjoying this. How can they enjoy seeing a man twisted oh. like a pretzel? Oh my God. Oh he's God. got him up. He's a. The he's in world thing. trouble and he's tapping out. He had no choice. He had no choice. Look at that. He's just being torn apart. Big Dwayne picks up the victory, and yeah, he he was being torn apart. And you know what? Big Dwayne, with this win, qualifies for the Money in the Bank ladder match. He's getting that opportunity at Cyber Slim. Let's hope this time they stay at the top of the mountains a little longer. So if he can win at Cyber Slam. Gets that chance, maybe he can. Maybe this is his time. And oh my god! Oh, the this the, this the this referee's this getting rave out of here. Come on, he's, he's separating. Mm -hmm. These guys are gonna a Cyrus Lane. Just like Gallup sent a prize. It's on wall. These two have been at each other's throats for the last few months. And they're finally on the beat at Cyrus this, this has been a long time coming for these two former friends. Right now, folks, we're going to see how this all came about. Three, the first time he's going to go through it again. Oh my god! Wait, no, Shane Walsh is in the ring! Damn it! And he's going to prevent his nephew from picking up this victory. Not this one, no! He, if he does it, it's over! Oh my god! Oh my god, the Alex Enterprise is in an AWF ring! Oh my god! We know the history with Alex and Sean Walsh of the Seven Deadly Sins. It appears Alex is here to stop this from happening. Wait, wait a minute! The last time we saw the Alex Enterprise compete in a match was at COH's Ultimate Glory 4, in which you competed against a match in, yes. in a yeah, match yeah. that you believed was your last match. <laughs> Funny how things work like that. And as the match stated, this was a retirement. Oh, In call? I never said I'd retire from call. Here I am, AWF. 
there are no more friends for Alex to survive. There are no more groups and alliances and factions. I am one man right now on a mission. And that mission is this current federation here is to rid it of Sean Walsh. I know more than any of these people what you're capable of. I know more than any of these people what you have done. I've been on your side. And that is the reason why you have turned your back on me. Because of some agenda you feel that I will eventually conspire against you. Because this is something I have to do. Not something I want to do, but something I have to do. Because I'm not going to let you bring your agenda into my company. I'm not going to let you ruin the name of the AWL. Oh my, that's not the Alex Enterprise. That's Shane. Oh man. I am not giving you a match with the Alex Enterprise because quite frankly, you don't deserve a match with Mr. Enterprise. Wait, wait a minute! Completely appalled by what his uncle had to say. He wants to fight the Alex Enterprise and he doesn't care what his uncle thinks. Sean Walsh versus the Alex Enterprise at Cyber Slam. Give me the Alex Enterprise at Cyber Slam. No rules, no disqualifications, no countouts, no holds barred. Answer is still no. You do not deserve to be in the same ring with the Alex Enterprise. You are afraid not because of what he'll do, not because I don't deserve it. You are afraid because I may just stand a chance. I may have a chance at beating the Alex Enterprise. So, you want the Alex Enterprise? That's Cyber Slam? Well, you got it! Your destruction, your annihilation, begins now. Welcome back to Uprising. Now we're going to find out who the final competitor will be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Hopefully this match has a fair conclusion in like the last A fair conclusion. Hopefully there's no outside interference. Like yeah, hopefully this. there's no outside interference. Like somebody being attacked from behind. Don Martin wasn't part of the match. In fact, he was just minding his own business going up the ramp and all of a sudden Raid comes out like a lunatic and he tags him from behind. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what kind of security you have in this place, but... Just... Regardless of that, AJ Bronze, he's getting an opportunity here. In fact, he doesn't even know who his opponent is going to be in this Money in the Bank qualifying match. Tough task. 
He is a tough guy, so as a superstar, as a wrestler, you gotta be prepared for anything that comes your way. You know, that's nice. Uh, oh, wait a minute, look at this. Jack Maximus from PCW. Jack Maximus, and I'm, I'm having flashbacks. I don't like these flashbacks. Jack Maximus is certainly no stranger, though, here on the main roster. He, he's been up here and he's been fairly well, but he went back down to PCW to get back when, when he felt that he lost, try and rebuild. And now he's back here on Uprising. What a way to come back here in Money Bank Hall time match. Yeah. That, that, that's a very interesting uh, I don't know, I think I'm just a genius. Oh. It's certainly going to be a very interesting match between these two, two junior heavyweight style competitors. Indeed. Uh, one that is masquerading as a Puerto Rican despite having got a Latin name and the other one being somebody I despise so this should be fun you why do you despise AJ Bronze? I don't like AJ Bronze, okay? any guy that calls himself bronze instead of silver or gold or platinum has obviously got some self-confidence issues and needs to go away and think about his life well, I mean it's, it's tough to hate a guy just for his name I, mean, just... I can hate on whoever I want, damn it Sure. May, may he, it's definitely here in the United States. I don't know about your home, but um. Okay, we don't talk about my country. It doesn't exist anymore. So, let's leave it that. But the thing is, the Bronze Age was over two thousand, no, over three thousand years ago. Actually, you know, this guy maybe we should go back to that time. We don't have to deal with it. If only time travel existed. Yeah, I can send you back. Oh, yeah, you don't want that. You want to be right here, right next to me here on commentary. If I help you sleep at night, do whatever you want. Well, Jack Maximus is playing those heavy blows in the face of AJ Bronze. And call him Larry, Larry Jr. Heavyweights, but he's just smacking him around like a, like a heavyweight, there, like a boxer. I oh, remember, they are junior heavyweights, and that and that's just merely off of their weight. I mean, these guys bring all sorts of different styles to the table. Oh my! Now, Bronze sends Maximus to the outside. It's exchanging punches in the first uh, minute or so of this match. I guess trying to just get a feel of each other. Wink, wink, match, match. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my! Oh, drop kick right into the barricade. His, his back bounced off that barricade and spilled that guy's drink. That, what a terrible man. Oh, well, that's... You shouldn't have your drink over the barricade. He was just trying to get a close up of, of the match, and this this terrible human being decides to knock his drink out of his hand. Terrible human being. He's doing what he's got to got to do, and he's going for the cover. Is he going to get it here in the early go? And no. The two going. You're going to have to do a bit more to deprive Maximus of the opportunity to have the money in the bank briefcase. And yet this is this is this for many of these guys. It may be their best shot at ever becoming AWF champions. So you got to think they're going to put a lot. A part and dedication in first getting into that match and then claiming that briefcase. And not just not just their best shot, but it might be their only shot. Indeed, I mean, how many of these guys? No, oh, actually, all the offense. Why do I care? Um, how many of these guys are ever going to get a shot at a guy like Sean Ryder, a guy like Danny Hardy? That they're not on the same level. Maybe in five, ten years they could be, but right now they're not. And certainly, getting the money in the bank that could that could jumpstart that. Exactly, just as he's trying to jump off the, the middle rope there. Oh, oh. AJ no, Bronze perfect. on the top. Woo! Oh my. Moonsault! Cover. One. No. Not enough to keep Jack Maximus down. Here's Maximus trying to send a message to AJ Bronze that, ow. I was well, going to that, but. I'm pretty sure the message just flew out of his head. Maximus, though, not, not, AJ Bronze has given him a lot, and you gotta give it. You gotta give it to Maximus. He's taking it, and he he's keeping fighting. He's not laying down for anything. He just mm -hmm. keeps getting back up. I may not like Maximus. I mean, I hate AJ Bronze more, but I, I, the thing is, they, this guy has got to have a lot of hunger in his stomach 
He's, he's, he went back down PCW, beautiful mover. He went back down PCW to try and reclaim himself, try and make himself great again. And he's back now, trying to get the shot at the big time once again. He's not going to let Al Pacino slip through his fingers. Uh, no, he's, no, he's not. Well, well, well hopefully he, he won't for his sake. Oh, you're rooting for him? Instead of AJ Bones or both of them? Just you partisan commentator. I, I am not rooting for anyone. I, 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 I'm glad that both these guys are here and having this match. Oh my god! Look at that triangle oh. dropkick. Now you're sitting on the fence. Go on, pick a side. Why would I pick a side? I, I'm on the side of the fans. Is that We're going to see this great action. Oh, what a kiss ass. Side of the fans. God, the fans don't pay your wage, do they? Yeah. Well, they do when they when they pay and they come here. It, it helps my page. Oh, so now you're just on the side of the fans because they pay you? Oh, come on! You're just, just turning, you're just twisting and turning this around. No, you're it's... just squirming here. You're just digging the hole deeper. It, you're something else, Jay. Manic. Thank you. My mother says that hard one. I'm wondering why they they send a hole team after to go find you. I, I don't know, why did you? <laughs> I'll have to ask management about that one. I, something we both don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a frame buster there. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh oh, what is Jack Max? Oh my god, what the? Wait a minute, what's he doing? Oh! Oh, I thought he might be going for an air raid siren there, but... God knows what that was. I don't even know what to call that, but it was effective oh. and oh my! And it picked up the victory. Well, damn, Jack Jack Maximus was not gonna let that slip through. And he, he picks up one of the AJ Bronze, not good enough to go. Not tonight. Um, Jack Maximus, the last competitor to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. He's earned that spot. We got all six. This is gonna be very interesting. That cyber slam. Now Max is back. Hey, wait, wait. Look at Ian Morgan. Ian Morgan also. Ian Morgan also in the Money in the Bank ladder match, and he's the first man to qualify for the match. And now he's just he's just attacking Maximus. Well, Morgan's got to send a message to these young guns that he's not <laughs> going to be beaten by them. It's his Money in the Bank briefcase to lose, not theirs. Well, I mean, this is this is not. This is not fair, though. It's not fair. He just had a match. Who cares if he just had a match? As a wrestler, you got to be prepared for everything. I'm pretty sure I said that earlier. And he just wasn't prepared for Morgan to come out. Uh, how I mean, you know what kind of guy Morgan this? is. You know what kind of guy Morgan is. You should know that there's a chance that he's going to try and send you a message. And it's well, like, I'll agree with you there. The, the kind of guy that Ian Morgan is is certainly a not winner. my characteristic. A guy that knows what he wants and knows how to get it. Sir. This is just come on. It's just it's still not right. And look, send to the not outside. Not right. You well, listen this, to yourself, something. His message has been well received. We we've heard it. Now he can just get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. That's the music of Big Dwayne, who just qualified. Like it was very black. Well, Big Dwayne, or, there he is. Just qualified earlier tonight. I mean, that's great, but he has no business out here. So oh, he's got no business. Why doesn't he go back to whatever ghetto he came from? Oh, and come the, on. Leave the big boys to. I just. He's a big boy but uh, Leave the biggest boys to, to fight it out. That's leave the okay. biggest point. <laughs> not that I have anything against the home set. Well. Just shut up. Yes. Now look, Big Dwayne, he's taking the fight here to Ian Morgan. He's, he's telling him, hey, you want to go and fight someone? Well, how about you fight me? Wait, why is the ref ringing for the bell? He's ringing the bell because he, this is not a match. These guys got to get out. He's trying to get these guys to put a stop to this. Big Dwayne, clothesline Ian Morgan to the outside. Send a message. Ian Morgan. Blindsided. He didn't attack him from behind. He, come on. These two are going to be part of the Money in the Bank ladder match at Cyber Slam. Oh man, it's going to be very interesting with these two, money, these two money, large money, men. Money, and look at this money, here. Money, 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 here's the lineup here. We already know Ian Morgan, money, big, 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 money,
Big Dwayne. Also, Jack Maximus on the Uprising side are going to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Also, from Superstar Mayhem, we have AJ Young, Kevin Cash, and the returning Mason Chronic. Uh, he, not, not, not too many fans there of Mason Chronic. He, he's very well aware, of, well aware of that. Also, at CyberSlam, Don Martin is going to face the man that, that fought him earlier tonight in quite the brawl. Rave. This time, though, the United States Championship's on the line. Also, Brandon Wolf gets a big opportunity. He's going to be fighting Travis Sparks for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Will we be seeing a new champion at CyberSlam? Could we also be seeing a new Extreme Champion as Brock Manson challenges the champion Fisk? We saw them fight earlier, and that we just got a little taste of what's to come at CyberSlam. Speaking of which, we got a little bit of taste of uh, Danny Hardy and Texas Black earlier tonight. They're going to go at it at CyberSlam. Can Danny Hardy survive the monster? Ray Geddes is going to get his chance at revenge as he goes up against Ultimate Nitro, the man that screwed him out of the AWF World Heavyweight Championship. Speaking of screwing people out of the World Heavyweight Championship, Ben Hitman truly believes that Sean O'Connor did just that. And these two are going to meet at CyberSign. It's been years in the making for these two. And then for the World Heavyweight Championship, Tank defends the World Championship against the winner of the CyberSlam series, Christopher Wonder. And then our main event is for the AWF Championship. Sean Riley puts the gold on the line against the winner of the King of the Ring, Dr. Syntax. Sean Riley and Syntax, they are going to meet at CyberSlam for the AWF Championship. But before that, we're going to hear from the champion right now. He's going to address these last few weeks, the beatings that he's received disciples and his opponent at CyberSlam, Dr. Syntax. You know what I expect him to say? Wow, wow, wow. Beat those Agnes from behind. Wow, wow, wow. Look, you're the, you're the AWF champion. You don't expect you're going to be targeting me. You've got a target on your back. That belt will everybody free. You can't just come out here and say, wow, wow, wow. You've been mean to me, Mr. 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 Pia. You can't do that. I, I don't know. I mean, Charlie, yeah, I'm sure he's going to say that it certainly is not fair, but I, I don't think he's going to complain about it. I think he's going to let Syntax know that he's going to be ready to go at Cyberstone. You think Syntax doesn't know that? He's even out of two times now. I'm not going to hate the guy. He's not going to hate the guy. But, uh... Well, let's see what Sean Riley has to say. Folks, I've been on the receiving end of an ass kicking for weeks by the disciples. You know, when I signed up for this, they said it wasn't going to be easy. But no no trainer here in Call Wrestling can prepare you for the disciples. And at CyberSlam, I face its leader. I face the leader of the disciples, the king of the ring in Dr. Syntax. He's got many titles, King, Doctor, but the title that he wants more than anything else is to be a WF champion. He's just like every guy in the back who has their eyes set on my AWF championship. And I understand that because I was once that guy. I was once one of the guys in the back who had their eyes set on the guy with the championship. I, I was just as hungry as you, Syntax, and everybody else in the back who wants this. And now that I have this, I realize I got a huge ass target on my back. I, I can respect the guys before me that have had that target on their back. I know the pressure that it holds. I understand that now. And I understand what these guys had to go through now that I am in their position. Those guys, though, are no longer in the position because they they fell. They lost. And I do not want to...
do the same. I do not want to become a former. I want to be the champion. I want to remain your champion of this great company. I have fought great superstars. I have fought the best. I have fought every person who has asked for a championship opportunity. Whether that be Danny Hardy, Evan Rockville, or Brock Manson, I have fought them all and I have beaten them. Whether there's people who say that I shouldn't hold this or that I shouldn't have beat them, I beat them all. And each man came to me face to face and they believed that they could beat me and they didn't. And I believe that they believe that. But I, I worked harder. I brought the bigger fight. And that is why I kept pushing and I kept fighting and walked out each and every time with the AWF championship because I do not want to be where I once was fighting for this. I want to be fighting to keep this. But the man who is now fighting for this is the man who craves the power that it has and that is you syntax you lead your disciples and I gotta give you credit you've led quite the cult I'll give you that your disciples have held the tag team championships just as long as I've held the world championship and they've beaten every tag team that's been put in front of them they may just be the best tag team in all Carl Wrestling. Hell, they could be the next calls or tag team champions. You also now have a big seven foot monster in Texas Black. The man who has choked Sammy at every chance that he's gotten, who has laid me out countless times for you. It's a heck of a guy to have on your side. And he may be just a deciding factor in our match at Cybersign. Perhaps he could be. You have Reverend Joseph, who certainly is no physical harm or threat to me or anyone else. But he is an evil mastermind. And maybe, maybe he thinks he can manipulate me. Maybe he thinks I'll believe his words. Just like... Your disciples have believed your words. And maybe I'll tremble. Maybe I'll be afraid. I'll have fear. And that will be my fall. You think that I fear you. And that will be how I lose this. I do not fear you syntax I do not fear you but I do fear what will happen to this place if you win the AWF championship I fear what this place will become if the disciples have this what you call the absolute power I have worked too damn hard to get this to lose it to a crazy son of a bitch like yourself. You can call yourself a king, you can call yourself a doctor, but you damn sure are not going to take this from me. I recognize that you are the biggest threat that I have had to face. You may be the biggest threat in AWF, but you need to recognize that because I recognize that, I am going to train harder, I am going to work harder, and I am going to bring a bigger fight to Cyber Slam when I face you. Hopefully it's one on one, but hell, I don't know what you believe. Maybe you believe in handicap matches, maybe that's what you preach to your disciples, and maybe the disciples in Texas Black, maybe they will be a part of our fight. And if they are, I will fight them, and hopefully I can take them down and then beat you. But if you're going to take this from me, you're going to have to destroy me, every bit of me.
take life from me to take this championship. And, uh-oh, it looks like somebody is greeting the AWF champion, and it's not Syntax or any of the Disciples, it's actually Kamikaze. Oh, that's not something I expect to see out here right now, but, uh, no, he's always welcome in the AWF. Yeah. That's the Kamikaze. The leader of the Devil's Advocates, and from what, I, from what I heard on social media, Kamikaze has been lobbying for a match here tonight with Sean Riley. So... I mean, he is, a, he is a big name in our business, so what he wants, he should be able to get. And if the match was smart here, we'd be seeing Kamikaze versus Sean Riley right now. Well, I'm sure that's why Kamik... Well, I would think, unless Kamikaze has a, a hidden motive, which, let, let's be honest here, I, I don't think I'd be surprising to anybody if he had a hidden motive. Even, even putting aside Kamikaze as a person, considering how the show's gone down so far, I expect him to pull out a freaking RPG and start shooting or something. <laughs> well, anything can happen in the American Wrestling Federation. Let's hope it, we, let's not hope it's that liberal. <laughs> and it's still Kamikaze for a reason. Well, well, Kamikaze, we, we saw what the Devil's Advocates have done thus far with CM Morgan already. So, now the Kamikaze's out here, who knows what's going to happen. I'm sure we're all about to find out right now. Sean Riley, AWF champion. Like you got a single thing to complain about. You are the face that runs the place. You are the champion of this company. While there's people like me who are constantly held down. People like me aspire to be people like you. But there's always somebody in our way trying to keep us down. And that is why me and my devil's advocates say no more to being held down. No more will the talent that we have be suppressed because that's not what they want they they don't want me they don't want me holding that championship the biggest threat to your championship is not Dr. Syntax the greatest threat to your championship is me at least in the eyes of them Sean Riley, you are champion today. You may still even be champion at the conclusion of your match with Syntax at CyberSlam. However, that does not guarantee that you will walk out of CyberSlam with the AWF championship need I remind you that there is a money in the bank ladder match taking place that very night and a certain somebody who obtains the money in the bank briefcase may decide to cash in on you or or if syntax walks out the champion it may be he who is cashed in upon this wouldn't be the first time that a cash in takes place at cyber slam you should know that very well your your own flesh and blood did that and he walked out that night the awf champion didn't he see i know my history and i know history is doomed to repeat itself and that doom may be for you Sean Riley you see fellow devil's advocate member and my friend Ian Morgan is a competitor in the money in the bank ladder match and he is saying no more to be in held down 
and he is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. And maybe you'll get to meet my friend up close and in person. Or perhaps, if things don't go your way that night, you'll get a front row seat. Either way, keep your eyes wide open. Because you never know when an ace appears. However, Cyberslam, that, that is that night. Tonight, however, we, we have a match. So maybe you and I will do better. And I'll get to show you what the Devil's Advocates is all about. And then you will know that this is not your house anymore. The devil's advocates are here to kick in the door and throw your ass out. And the referee calls for the bell. And Kamikaze was uh, explaining some things there to Sean Riley. I received word that after much uh, lobbying on social media, general manager Jack Williams told Kamikaze earlier on tonight that he was granting his request for a match with Sean Riley tonight, non-titled. I mean, that's fair enough. I mean, uh, a guy like Kamikaze shouldn't have to be able to prove that he should be in a title match, but whatever, that's a good idea. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I'll agree with you that it's fair. Kamikaze, it, with a win tonight, or even an impressive showing, could really, I mean, Jack Williams... If he if he's what I'm hoping that if he's watching, watching. Oh, no. <laughs> well, is he going to be in a jacuzzi with all beautiful women around him? Just just look, I, I don't know what he's doing. He's not out here. I'm I'm assuming it backstage that he's wa watching the show. And if he takes notice, this could be really big for Kamikaze. You know, Sean Riley he is defending the championship at CyberSlam, but there's certainly going to be contenders post CyberSlam, and that's for Sean Riley or. If we have a new champion. Of course, I mean, that awful human being, my guy. Yeah, that. Well, I agree with you. He is an awful human being. Awfully good at what he does. Ha ha. Ha ha. Leader of the disciples. He, he, what is it with the, these people that they lead these, these groups of people? There's just something up with them. Look, some people are strong enough to lead. Some people are only fit to follow. You know, that's just how the world works. I mean, like you and me, I'm the leader. I'm the, the best guy that AWF has ever had in commentary, obviously. And you just follow my lead. Mm -hmm. As it should be. You're the leader, okay. You, you mm -hmm. tell yourself. I do, every night. As a primary substitute. Well, isn't that sad? It isn't. You know who doesn't cry himself to sleep though? Kamikaze, because he knows he is in a great position here tonight. Again, like you said, if he puts on a good showing, if he wins especially, he could prime himself to become AWF champion. Hey, I'm sure he doesn't cry himself to sleep, but when he's awake, he's all that's all he does is cry. All he but does is the difference between crying and pointing out the injustices of the world, and that's exactly what Kamikaze does. All he says is that him and the devil's advocates apparently they they're being they've been held down and apparently there's this great force that's holding them down and, and who who uh, who is who and why would they would someone hold him down kamikaze has been around for so long and he has proven himself multiple times that he can be at the top echelon of, of all superstars but for some reason when he goes to manager and say, hey, look, I'm, I've done all this. Please give me a chance. Give me a chance to show what I can do. They turn their back on him. You can't tell me he hasn't been held down because he has. Now, finally, he's getting a chance to show what exactly what he can do. He's going to beat Sean Murray here tonight, and then he's going to get a chance at the title. Maybe. Yeah, you know... If he can beat Sean Riley, and I, I even said earlier, if he, even if he has an impressive showing, he could certainly throw his name into the hat. He could be a, one of the, ne the next guys in line for a championship opportunity. If Sean Riley can get past Syntax, or even if Sy Syntax does become champion, he, you know, he could be Kamikaze, he could be the first in line, depending on what happens here tonight. 
Sean Riley, he throws Tamikaze into the corner, and there's a running forearm to the face. It's a simple one affecting me. Well, hey, Sean Riley, you gotta wonder this though. He's he's putting focus here on Kamikaze, but you gotta wonder if he's thinking about Cyber Slam and how that's going to factor into the this match here tonight. I mean, how can you not think about Cyber Slam? It's not like he's going up against a one month rookie here. He's going up against one of the most dangerous, one of the most psychotic core wrestlers to ever grace these these uh in you know, these leagues. Well, Sean Riley, he, he recognized. He said it here tonight. He said that Syntax may just... He, he recognized him as his greatest threat to the championship, and he said he might even be the greatest threat in this company. And it's not its not just because Syntax is a good wrestler, because he is. But there's so many more facets to his game that are mental, that he can get into your head, but the things that he's done in the past will play on your mind. I mean, he's done some terrible things. And Very terrible. And now he has the disciples on his side. He's got the, the, the disciples, Cody and Tim, the tag team champions who've been utterly dominant. He's got a seven foot monster in Texas Black. And then he has Reverend Joseph, who is an evil mastermind. Okay, when you look at those kind of people backing you up, it's only a matter of time before everything you want is in the palm of your hands. And Sean Riley is probably going to have to weather that storm come Cyber Slam. Whether he does or not will be a testament to how, how good he is as a champion and as a wrestler, but he's got to go through tonight first. Yeah, he's got to get through tonight. This might this is a great time for Kamikaze to be going after Sean Riley with all the mind games that Sean Riley's been through with the Disciples and all that. He, I'm sh I'd be willing to bet that he is focusing on Syntax and Cyber Slam. He might be a step off his game here tonight, and if and if he is, Kamikaze will certainly take advantage of that. Well, you can't can't afford to be a step up your game when you face someone like Kamikaze. I mean, he will take any opportunity he can to put you down. Just like that, a simple move like drop toe hold, but it, you're slamming somebody's face down onto the man. And it, you know, you can break somebody's nose if you drop them perfectly enough. You certainly can. These guys. Oh my! Slap it! Oh! This match has been a bit methodical so far. I mean, these two guys just trying to work out how to put the other one down. It's not going to be easy for even man. Certainly not. And now, what is Comcast? Uh oh! It's going for that rolling knee bar. Trying to hyper extend that knee there. It's very interesting. Kamikaze has made people submit to that move in the past. So far, not tonight for Sean Riley, but if he if he does the right damage to the knee, Sean Riley, could you imagine Sean Riley taps out right before Cyber Slam? That's good. That would be that would be in a mental weight on Sean Riley if he has to think that you know he taps out it's worse than being pinned. You have to be forced to tap out. That's gonna be playing on his mind throughout that match. That was famous. He'll be playing with his mind during that syntax match. He's got enough on his plate. Sean Riley, I, it would it would be devastating. I, I don't think Sean Riley though has it in him to get, to give up. Well, we'll you see, say but... he doesn't have it in him, but even the bravest man needs to know when it's time to throw in the towel. Would you would you want your leg broken then before you go into your championship match? No. There's priorities, and if you need to tap out. Then you need to tap out. Oh no, I, I I agree. Sometimes, you know, when you're in a in predicament, it's it's not a thing that you should be ashamed of. If you got to give up, you got to give up. I just don't know if Sean Riley can can do that. Uh oh wait, uh oh 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 my God! Bicycle boot and well, I there may be no giving up here. And that's, three. That's it. Sean Riley picking up the victory over Kamikaze. Big victory on the go home show. He's going into CyberSlam with a victory. You gotta give it to Sean Riley. Kind of he's not as compared to go to beat, but he managed to put it out of the back here tonight with that bicycle. And now he's gonna go into CyberSlam when he faces Syntax. Oh wait a minute. Uh, Speaking yes. of Syntax. I, oh no, what is Oh my god. What? 
Shit, I didn't know you could teleport. Syntax is in the ring. These two are gonna meet at Cyberslam. It looks like they're gonna meet now. Oh! The Ryan, jawbreaker. Ryan's having none of it. Oh my god! He's got him in a Cobra clutch! He's going straight for the Cobra. Gee, he's good. Oh god. Syntax, you fucked up. Syntax had a plan to attack Sean Riley, and Sean Riley, he was prepared. But what a message here! If Sean Riley puts that Cobra clutch on at Cyber Slam, Sean Riley may retain that championship. He may walk out still the champion. Folks, we're gonna see those two competitors collide. The greatest threat to Sean Riley's AWF Championship, Dr. Syntax, will meet Sean Riley in the main event of Cyber Slam. It's going to be a classic. For Jerry Maddox, I'm Philip Ontario. Thank you for watching.